PMD and if I say vagrant bar leaf list, right? So whatever I have. So I have this many on my machine. So I have, if you see, I have uh, uh, for Windows, I have this uh, Fuji face for Windows, which I'll show it to you how to bring up a Windows 2012 server. Then this is the smallest you could have, HashiCorp, right? And this Ubuntu Trusty 32, Ubuntu Trusty 64. So that like different versions of it, right? Sitting on my box. This I, I downloaded. Each one took me about 10, 12, 10, 12 minutes. I downloaded. In your case, you just need just one and you will download it very soon. So that gives you a list of everything that you have. This vagrant office doesn't doesn't work. <coughs> vagrant office is not work. And something wrong with this session is ah. it's not linked to each of all this. Um, I think they they have uh, they you need the permissions uh, on the firewall. I think. I mean, they 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 just making things a little bit difficult. Uh, I already had it. On my machine. It's not basically linked to the. Uh, it does not export it to to uh, virtual box. So no, I uh, download it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I mean, but yeah, the office doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll I'll shoot you. I'll shoot you. So uh, we have come to that point where we have to put something in it, right? So if you take a look here, I have this config VM box is base, right? So what we need to do is what we need to do according to my lab one. What I'm saying is in my lab one, we need to put my vagrant. Uh, file as as the following. So let's look into what is going in this vagrant file. So config VM is that. So this is what I need to put. So if I come in here and this is this is the base, right? So I need to change that to config VM dot box Ubuntu Trusty. So the box that is going to come out will be <coughs> using Ubuntu testing. So what this is, is this is the Ruby code. So let me explain you uh, basically in the Ruby code. So what we are doing is we are creating a variable called config, right? So this configuration variable uh, can be set inside this do and end, right? So I could put multiple configuration parameters in here, right? So my different settings that could come in here, you will see in a minute, the most important and the most basic one is config.vm box, virtual machine box will have this OS, right? So we can conf uh, uh, configure this version two. So this is basically what we are, we are using. You could put whatever you want to put in here, right? Uh, so for whatever I am, I am going to do right now, inside do config and end what I put is very important so the first line this is basically what I want this operating system now let's look at what else can I put it in there so think about your requirements when this machine if I bare minimum if I do this and if I run it it will create a machine but that machine needs to be accessed right I need to access that machine and because it is sitting on the virtual box from that virtual box, uh, that machine needs to be accessed by a guy sitting in India, let's say, right? So I need to do something. Forget about him sitting in India. We have to have it on the same network. So what I will do is I will use uh, the other settings. So if you look at in here, the minimum that I will go with is this one, right? This one. So I. You don't even need this to bring up the box. You don't even need this. You don't need this, right? So guess what? I showed it to you because inside do and end, I could have multiple lines that I showed it to you. But let's say I don't even have that line. That's the only configuration I have, right? How can we make it to create that machine? I did not set the RAM. I did not set no nothing. That's fine, right? Let us see how we do it. So if I go back here, right? Notice I did not even give the name of it, right? It we'll do it uh, very soon. Now, but I want that machine to come up. If you look into my uh, Oracle uh, virtual box, right? 
So there are some machines running here. Just for the heck of it, uh, I will uh, close these machines. I will power off these machines, right? Power off. And this is a Docker machine running. I will go and I will even power off this Docker machine. So the reason I'm doing that is because uh, when I have multiple uh, machines running on my computer, um, uh, it might it might take away too much because the VM box also needs certain things to be allocated for it to run smoothly, right? So so right now these are my boxes. None of my boxes are running. So from here, I am in this class Ubuntu QA. I have this as my vagrant file, right? I have this as a vagrant file. What I will do now is the command is very simple. Notice what happens. You say vagrant up, right? So when I say vagrant up, it is going to look inside this file and it will see what it has to do. I have only one instruction in there. In a real life, you'll have 25 things that we have to do. Now, you may wonder what are the other things that we could do in here. Just as, as an example, our case study was what? To take a node application and deploy it. Right? So eventually that's what we'll be doing in lab two, lab three and all that. But for now, let's bring up the machine. So if I do this now, if I hit enter, right? And if you look into it and look into these things and look into what is going to happen here. I will put it on the side a little bit so you can see side by side what is going to happen. So it is in my case, it came to progress 90%. Very quickly, it came to that because I already have the image, right? And now you are not seeing anything new coming up here, right? So once it progresses and once it reads the image, there it is, right? And it is power off because now it is preparing it. It is it is adding if there were anything. And then once this is booting, this is on now, right? And there is a private key issued to it, right? There's a private key issued to it. And then the next thing that will happen <coughs> is once everything is done, right? I will get my command prompt back. That means that this machine is ready to go. Now, once this machine is ready to go, where is this machine? This is in virtual box. I need to go inside this machine and check something inside this machine. So my machine is up and running. OK, now I need to go inside this machine and check this machine. So um, quick uh, uh, question. Um, we started off by saying that we should know as how to spin up machines. So we said in order to spin up machines, uh, first of all, we have to have the ability to do that. So on my on my laptop, I have to have the environment. So to have the environment, I must have uh, where am I spinning up the machine? Not in the cloud, but here in my virtual box. So I have to have a virtual box. I download it virtual box. Okay. Then I said, okay, what do I need to bring it up? Okay, some Linux distribution of Ubuntu or whatever. I need to bring it up. So to do that, I need a tool. Tool is Vagrant. So I downloaded Vagrant. Then I said, okay, in order to bring up this one, I need to go create a folder structure 